Hey, what's going on, fellas? Today I got a pretty cool little maintenance trick that I just wanted to share with you guys because I just think it was kind of a last minute really cool idea. What we're looking at here is a very expensive high capacity blower. This is a uh, squirrel cage fan that is used by basically companies. Yeah, these things aren't cheap on the high wattage units. They sell cheaper versions of this type of fan in the one quarter horsepower and one half horsepower. And they're like two amp units. But uh, the one I have is a four amp. So it is most definitely one of these bigger models here. So definitely worth pulling out of the trash. And all I did is fix the cord on it. Been using it for 10 years and here we are again. I think I'm about to make 285 bucks, fellas. Typically this isn't something that the average consumer would buy because it's just so expensive they do sell these at menards but the ones at menards do not have the capacity this one has this is like a five amp unit and the other day when i was doing some painting it started to squeak on me really bad so i immediately shut it down and took it apart because i knew that the oil wicks were basically dry inside these journal bearings typically is a packing that you um, can fill back up with oil. So you can take these things apart, fill the packing back up with oil and you're good to go. But I thought to myself, what else can I do to make this troublesome event even better? And I decided to take into consideration the position the motor will have inside this fan. And what I did was flipped over these plates or rotate them 180 degrees so that the actual load of the armature itself is for the most part swapped around the position where it was touching the journal bearing will now be rotated up to the top or actually it's the other side this is what we got you see that packing right there that's how the oil gets to the journal bearing that little square inside the journal you always want that to be at the three o'clock or nine o'clock position either there or here you could have it up but then you risk the oil not something well because some gravity is going to help this oil wick you see how i've completely saturated that oil wick with oil that is going to allow you to pump oil properly but okay this side here has the notch in it See that notch there okay so basically what we do is we take this journal bearing and we rotate it 180 degrees so that we get the fresh side it looks to me like this is the side that we were running on I can see that notch right there so we would actually want to set it this way and that side looks a lot better there's no notch I also, in addition to that, I repolished the axle itself because it did have some graying to it. It was not this shiny before. A little bit of dirt on there. So I took a polishing wheel and um, repolished this because it did start to turn gray, probably from overheating. Typically, that gray temperature indicates you were in the 600 degree area hopefully that didn't happen i think it was just scuffed up is why it was gray so i repolished it i was unable to repolish the journal faces themselves but i have fully saturated the wicks with oil and uh we are ready to roll here so hours later and we got <clears throat> Not too shabby. No more squeak. It does, however, seem to take a little bit longer to speed up. Let me see. Wonder if maybe I hooked that start capacitor up wrong. I guess that ain't too bad for a startup. So there you go. 
my trash blower may live another 10 years. Today I just made $250. Because like I said, this is one of the high-end industrial blowers. Something that a company would typically buy. They don't even sell this one big at Lowe's or Menards, I don't think. This is the 400 water. 4.1 amps. All right, this thing's been running for hours and hours without a problem. Still rolling nice and smooth. See if we get any reverse spin. If it spins back the other way, we know we're rolling really slow. Eh, just a touch, not really. So for the most part, there you have it, fellas. Flip your journal bearings 180 degrees and take advantage of that... Um, the new surface area because I've seen this time and time again with old motors they do start to bore a seat into the journal bearing and that will give you a few more years of life out of the device it's a little bit more of an upgrade than just repacking the wick with the wheel so there you have it that's my two cents I gotta get back to work this is like a never-ending process I'm painting for days and moving stuff I'm out of here, fellas. We'll be back at it eventually.